not only have the opportunity to sell them the goods they're currently selling, but to expand their offering. And new tonight, there is a push to expand liquor sales here in Pennsylvania. Right now, only beer and wine can be sold at grocery stores and gas stations. But tonight, Serafina James found out why a state representative from Washington County wants to change that. The bill would expand alcoholic beverage options, meaning consumers could purchase distilled spirits like vodka and whiskey inside of places like grocery stores and convenience stores. House Bill 1084 was introduced by Pennsylvania State Representative Tim O'Neill. This system that we've proven to work uh, through the law changes with, with the selling of the wine, um, it, it, my bill simply extends that to spirit sales as well. The Distilled Spirits Council of the United States calculates that the state currently has 0.68 spirit outlets per 10,000 people versus the national average of 3.27 spirit outlets per 10,000 people. The council believes the new bill would boost small businesses and increase state revenue. The state of Pennsylvania with only 620 or so state stores is um, well underserved and so this legislation would level the playing field and provide uh, greater shopping opportunities for the Pennsylvania consumer. Early in the pandemic when state run liquor stores were shut down, some Pennsylvanians crossed state lines to purchase alcohol. Over the phone, O'Neill explained that the proposed legislation would prevent this from happening in the future while still working in conjunction with the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. These restaurants, these, these are license holders, would be required to buy their spirits through the state some consumers tell me they hope the bill passes. I'm sure that if it was available in the liquor or in the grocery stores, I'm sure I would use it. It makes most sense. It's better for the consumer being able to walk into any store. It allows them to not only have the opportunity to sell them the goods they're currently selling, but to expand their offering and you know increase their bottom line. While others say the new legislation would lead to dangerous consequences. I would not be excited for it. I feel like when people get liquor, they get more confidence in themselves. You know, and I feel like to make that easier to access, well, I feel like more crime is committed when there's liquor. So I, I will vote no for that. In Pittsburgh, Serafina James, Channel 11 News.